This country house was a very special project. It belongs to a great friend of mine. She had it for about a year before she asked me and our design firm to get involved. It was a beautiful hundred year old house in a Dutch colonial style. And my client wanted it to feel like it would have felt originally, but still with all the modern conveniences. The first thing we established were the sight lines because that's so important, especially in a country house overlooking a lake, because you want to have the best views from every room. The construction team were great. They did extensive work. All the windows were replaced, all the French doors. There were a lot of small rooms that were opened up so the flow would improve and the kitchen was expanded. My client has a large extended family, lots of kids and their kids. So at any given time, there might be 12 people using the house and staying there. And she wanted the house to be elevated in style, but also casual in the sense that you wouldn't have to worry about surfaces being ruined, kids could run around. Everything had to be very practical. The heart of the home is definitely the kitchen. My client really went for it with the best faucets, always in unlacquered brass and really good appliances. You'll notice the wolf stove in the kitchen and the centerpiece of the kitchen is a huge island. The counters were by Costantino. I love those counters. They feel really good. They're like a leathered finish and they're no maintenance. Now in the kitchen, because the island is so big and it's so open with lots of stools, I was worried that there needed to be a way to cut off the sound for privacy so that if you wanted to entertain in your dining room and you had someone cooking in your kitchen, you wouldn't have noise. So I designed a big barn door which pulls across and is actually a feature of the kitchen. It's never been closed. They don't use it, but it looks great. Most people enter through the mudroom, which was an addition, and it was a brilliant idea because it's so practical. It has a dog shower, big laundry sink, washer dryer, lots of storage. It's a true mudroom. We did the floor in herringbone brick. That was really successful. And the walls are a mauvey gray color, which carries through to the kitchen. And the sight line from that room through the kitchen to the Dutch door is beautiful. In fact, it's on the cover of our new issue. There's a passageway between the kitchen and the dining room. And we created a linen closet on one side and a bar on the other side. And the bar kind of reminds us of a brasserie in Paris, which is what our client wanted. And we did built-ins with a fridge underneath. We did beautiful glazed tiled walls, glass shelves, brass rods, a wonderful collection of glasses, beautiful. In the dining room, we chose a round table from Restoration Hardware that expands. We used simple X-back chairs that my client already had and a sideboard from Crate and Barrel. It's beautiful, it looks great. But over the sideboard, we got John Darien plates and formed a collage of plates on the wall. It looks fabulous. And now my client can add to that whenever she finds a plate that she likes. My favorite room in the house is the kids' dining room, we call it, which is really more of a craft room. It's where they sew and they do drawings and there's a big blackboard. It's an overflow room when the dining room won't hold everyone for dinner. It's a great room. The living room really is a nod to Ralph Lauren. There's lots of Ralph in there. The rug is a Ralph Lauren striped jute rug and the two wonderful leather armchairs. The leather sofa, it wasn't Ralph, it was from Jason Holm, but it feels like Ralph and the big composite stone coffee table in the middle, super practical. We had to re-plaster the fireplace, left the original mantle, and create a wood storage place on one side. And the other side is a cozy reading corner that our client loves to curl up in. She says it's the best place in the house to sit and read. We did a lot of wainscoting because we thought that brought character back in. Just sanded and restained the floors painted the dark beams on the ceiling light, which I think helped make the place feel more airy. And all the windows were replaced and we left the interior frames in natural wood, just had them clear coated, so that the feeling of wood continues through the house. Because when you get to the sunroom, it's all paneled in wood. And we were determined to keep paneling wherever we could without painting it. And there's an easel in the corner, our client likes to paint and the view through the window is beautiful. It's just a fun room. Upstairs, there are lots of bedrooms. My favorite bedroom is the blue bedroom. I think it's the color of blue against the rich wood paneled walls. It's gorgeous. 
and we redid all the bathrooms so they feel country, but you know, elevated. All the vanities are custom, all the faucets and fixtures are new. One of them is a shared bathroom for two bedrooms. And then there's another bathroom, a really sweet one, that's off of the blue guest room. It's a two piece. And it's funny because you enter the bunk room, we call it, through one of the bedrooms. And that works out fine because usually there are kids in the bunk room. Although the beds are designed to be big enough for adults, I think that's a super charming room. The principal bedroom has its own sitting room. The bed is woven and it has a bench at the foot of the bed that matches it in the same woven pattern. And all the bedding is Kiska from Toronto. Kiska is popular, especially in country houses and cottages because you really can take it out of the dryer and shake it and put it on the bed. It really doesn't need to be ironed. And that was a condition of our client that all the bedding had to be in you know, a wash and wear. And it's super soft, 100% cotton. And then it has a sunroom adjoining it where our client likes to do yoga in the morning. And we kept the walls wood in there and found an old vintage day bed, had a new mattress made and layered it with beautiful textiles. In the principal bathroom, the ask was a dressing table where our client could sit, do her makeup and enjoy a beautiful view. So we had one custom designed and it's skirted. So there's lots of storage space that's hidden underneath and we made matching drapes above it and added a little stool and it's a really charming moment. This house is used year round. And in fact, some people who use it often in the winter say it's better because it's a great house to sort of curl up in front of a roaring fire and see the snow outside. It's really cozy in the winter. Although the house had an extensive reno, we still left a lot of the charm intact. It was a huge construction project. It took two years. So it was a labor of love. The thing is, when you walk into this house, you have to look twice because you know you're in an old house. It feels old inside, but yet it's fresh. It has every convenience, but it's maintained the charm of the old, which I think is very important.